beautiful souls. Before we start the assembly, this is formatted in an eight and a half by 11 standard size cardstock. And you will have a choice between SVG and PDF for those who do not have an electronic cutting machine, okay? So this is the front and back and it's already scored for you. The machine will score it by cutting in little slits in it and that'll be your score line. You just gotta uh, fold that over and then So wherever you, see the, wherever you see those slits, that's where you will fold and burnish. Okay, so when you cut these out, you're going to cut these out twice and you're going to have this left. So you have these parts as, you know, extra pieces to stamp your sentiment and then, you know, cut out a decorative shape around it. So it's very minimum to, to little waste to no waste at all. And then this is your bottom piece. And this would only cut out once. And then you will have the bottom left over of your 8.5 by 11 sheet. And then you can cut it out again. So if you want to do two of them, you have space here to cut out two of these. Okay. Then you have the sides. These are for the sides, which is the side of the house here. So you will cut, that's going to automatically cut out two for you. So you would only use one eight and a half by 11 sheet. And you will cut these parts out twice. So as you can see here, there's barely anything less you have this piece left you could also use this if you save your scraps to stamp a sentiment and again you know cut out a decorative shape around that sentiment then you will also need i highly recommend the chipboard you could also still continue to use your cardstock but this is for this part here which overlaps the gable roof it, it leaves an overhang okay and then for this there is no layering piece you will use a full sheet of your designer or decorative uh, paper pad or even um, digital eight and a half by eleven sheet size paper to just cover this whole thing up so that you don't see the chipboard underneath okay if you're using the pdf version you're going to have the outline of each pattern for the layers and for the base. So for the base, you will have them like this and these stitching lines will indicate for you to score on them. You can cut it out also in the, uh, I'm sorry, you can print these out also. It's formatted for the eight and a half by 11 sheet. You could also print these, uh, print them out on your decorative design paper. So if you want to have of uh, your base where it's already decorative and then you'll have these layers to go on top for that for it to be contrasting you can go ahead and do so i've done that i've done that to this one where my base layer it is decorative and then i have a designer paper so you can choose whether to do a light or dark and then the outside light or dark so that it can be contrasting and then of course you would just cut them out and the dashes will indicate again for you to use your scoreboard or to make your score marks for you to fold these, okay? And these also come with the layers. The file, both files for PDF and the SVG will come with the layers. So you don't have to figure that out, especially since you're dealing with odd shapes here you don't have to figure that out and these two you will also cut in an eight and a half by 11 sheet you can down if you have a 12 by 12 that you want to use you can cut that down to the eight and a half by 11 or you can just leave it you don't really have to cut that down so here i've done only for inside layers and some outside outside layers because I did 
I've always wanted the corner shop uh, Tilda paper pad. I never got my hands on one. They're totally discontinued. This was like years back. So I ended up picking up, finding image images on Google, and I formatted it to fit my my boxes. I do want mine to be a storefront, as you saw in the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it turned out really pretty. So in the thumbnail, you saw that I did, you know, that there is this one. And I made it fit. I manipulated the images to fit um, the front and for the sides. Okay. But you will have to fit your inside and outside. You can cut out the same designer paper if you want and I, I I do highly recommend for you to layer the inside as well it, it is not I, it is optional but I highly recommend it because it becomes a lot lot more sturdy and then this is a piece that goes you will have this piece also this one goes just on top of here it's just a decorative element you don't really have to put it but I absolutely love it so it does have this piece you can use it or you don't have to use it it's really up to you we are going to assemble the base first and what you want to do is you want to add all your layers to the outside only not the inside because these flaps are going to be in the inside and you don't want to add your decorative layers on the inside because this is going to be right on top of your decorative layer like this tacky right so you always want to add it in the end like this so it's nice and clean for the this is for the svg for the pdf you want to add your layers and the outside of all these marks and writings so you want to add them to the outside of that Okay, and for the bottom, I did layer the inside and the outside because this won't get any, um, we're not going to add anything else to this. And I do put co clear contact paper because, you know, this is going to be sitting on a, on, a, on a surface. So if it rubs, it rubs and it gets dirty, you could always wipe, that, wipe it off. But if it's just plain paper where there's no finish on it, you won't be able to clean it off if you want to clean it off. So we're going to we're going to start with the base. And I'm going to go ahead and add I'm going to add glue here and put this here, glue this down here, add glue here. I'm not going to use double-sided tape for this. I can add use my regular wet glue for that. You can use your favorite adhesive. I'm going to glue this here. And then I will glue this one here as well. So make sure if you have directional paper that is facing upwards where this flap is because this is going to be glued down like this this makes the top a lot more stronger so it would be glued this would be glued down like this that's why it's important also to add your layers to your pdf to the outside so that you don't see any of this and especially these um, stitched lines or these dashes you don't see it on the outside and that way, when you glue this down, you won't see it. And even though the layer will cover this, the inside layer will cover this, if you're using inside layers, you won't see it anyway. So it'll be nice and clean. So go ahead and add your glue to all these tabs and add your layers on there. And make sure to please don't cover the, the stitched or the dash score lines, don't cover that. Um, glue this away from that so that you'll be able to do this, okay? Okay. 
and you will line the edge of this with the score line here you will do that for all pieces so this will get lined up the edge of this will get lined up with the score lines so that everything is nice and squared off so now that we have the all the the front and the sides connected all that's left to do is glue them in here I would do this one by one to make sure everything in my aligns really nicely and as you can see everything matches everything aligns really nicely and you're going to do that for the PDF so you see all the printed um, the printed lines are in the inside you won't see that on the outside and this one also aligns beautifully this the PDF is a slightly bit smaller than the than the SVG file. I believe it's about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch smaller. I'm not quite sure, but it is a little bit smaller, a tiny bit. It's barely noticeable. So now we have this done. We can glue these parts down. We can add our adhesives in here and then glue this in. I went ahead and did the PDF one as well. And we just gotta glue these in. And I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling the lid. We're gonna do the one that's like this first. And then we'll do the other one that's completely flat on top, okay? So I went ahead and um, bent all the score lines so we want to place we want uh, adhesive to our tabs and of course we want to line up the score lines with the well this doesn't have a score line here but the score line here and underneath the score line here we're going to do the same thing to this side. And you want to make sure that these are aligned as well. The score line with the score line here. Okay, that is aligned. These get glued. You add, add your, your adhesive here and they do get glued. I mean, they get, yes, they get glued in here like this. This adds a lot of strength and stability to the structure and to this edge here as well. Okay, so you want to do that. If you do get a little bit of resistance where you're having trouble here, like on the edges here, just taper it off a little bit. Take your scissors and just cut a little bit off. You know diagonally on the side like so because I found that I had a little bit of that going on here you can take some if, some of it off here and then some of it off on the other side on the edge of the other side okay so that makes it nice and and strong what you can do now also is add your layers now there's no layers for here. Remember, this is going to have the chipboard overlapping that, so you don't need to add any layers here. But there will be a, uh, layers for both sides of this and both sides of that, okay? And I do have mine right here. So I have for here. And I have this layer and this layer okay so that's how i'm going to layer 
the, the, um, the top. So we have all the layers. You can go ahead and put the layers only for the one that, that has the triangle top. Do not put the layers here yet. So you can do this uh, outside from it being flat on top. You can do this another way. So you can do it three ways instead of the two that I originally stated. So you can go ahead and just like put your lid on, right? And <clears throat> you would probably layer this as well, just, you know, one side at a time. And then take this part that will be covered. We will cover this with paper in a moment. You can take this part that overhangs like this. It overhangs on the edges here and on the bottom there. You can slit the top. Um, a little bit away from the size of this, just a little bit away from that, you know, slit it a little bit on the top, and then you can feed this into th that, and then, you know, make two holes, put ribbons through it, and tie it, and that'll be your closure, and you can go ahead and just glue this to this permanently and then your gift box will open up from in, from up here okay instead of this whole thing coming out so that is another alternative i am actually going to put this on permanently and if you and if and if you want you could also put velcro or something or magnets you know just to make sure that doesn't this doesn't open up just to keep it closed, even though this will be secured closed. And then you could also ha add a handle on this side and a handle on that side so that it is a nice carry along gift box. All right, so that is another option. So what we're gonna do with this is we're going to glue, we're actually gonna cut one of these off so you will cut it with where the score line was just cut that away okay and you will glue so you will glue that in place and you would glue that in place. Okay, once this is fixed permanently, then you will glue, then you will add your adhesive here as well, and then you will glue this in place. You will add your adhesive here, and then you will glue that in place. So you will have this, okay? Once you have this together, then you can go ahead and add this layer covers that entirely make sure that this is completely flat against that fold here this fold here and that is completely flat okay so that's going to cover you're going to have two of these layering pieces, one on each side. And then, of course, you will go ahead and just finish that off. You, you, you may have to trim this one off a little bit because once these parts get um, churned, it's a, little, it's, it's a smaller space in here. It becomes a little bit tighter. So you might want to trim a little bit off here and a little bit off there to make it even if it doesn't quite fit, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. And then we will cover this without paper. And then glue that on top of here. Okay, that is, as you can see, we have an overhang on both sides, there and there. And then on here and here. 
we're going to cover this now. I'm going to use this wood grain paper. And it's a full eight and a half by 11. So I want my wood grain going in this direction. So this is going to be here like this on top of the roof like that. Okay. adding this layer this yeah layer the layer you're gonna add it where it's it's folded otherwise you're gonna have a difficult time folding the chipboard once this is glued on if, it, if you glue it on flat okay So you do want to add this layer folded. I hope you understand what I mean. Like this and not completely flat like this. Because you see that space there? And then if you do if you glue it on flat, you and you you go ahead and try to bend this, you might crack the paper on top. Okay, I'll smooth this out um, afterwards. This can get smoothed out. You may want to um, do a dry run and then make your score line. And this layer, even though it's uh, cut out of chipboard on your electronic cutting machine, it will cut your slits here for your scoring line so you don't have to figure that out. And I also would suggest creating one with you know with anything that's 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 not going to cut into this but anything that's um you know narrow enough and make another score line before you even bend this i forgot to say that before okay so now we have this now this is going to be easy to glue on here because it it has its shape and it's not going to bounce back up now what we want to do is cut off these edges on all four corners, including here. We want to just slit that just a little bit, angle it a little bit. So there's no bulk here when you're turning this in. Okay, so now it actually stayed like that. So all we gotta do next is just glue this to here in place. That's it. Okay, you wanna make sure you have it as even as possible on both sides. You don't gotta worry about here because since we already have that scored, that's gonna be even on both sides. On the front and back on this side and on that side I'm gonna do this off camera because I need this I need to draw this close to me and I won't be able to do that if I'm recording I don't want to glue this on crooked or one side longer than the other I'm gonna to try to do it as even as possible it might not be perfect but I'm gonna do it as even as possible okay so the last thing I did was added the last layer on top this paper is from Stamperia. It went well as a roof, like the bricks are exposed. 
I thought that went really pretty. So there it is finished. All that's left to do is to layer the inside here, glue these down and then layer in here. This is pretty much done. Not hard at all, right? Now let's do the other lid. The other lid is like, <laughs> you guys put a, could have probably figured it out anyway. But I'm going to show you how easy that this lid is to make it completely flat on top. I went ahead and assembled it just like I assembled this except for the top. And I added all the layers, right? Now, what we want to do is we want to put this on. And it's good that you don't glue these down because this, you know, gives it a little bit of support. So you want to put, put your lid in. Come on, get in there. Now, you can... We're basically going to be doing this and just gluing it down and, and then adding the layer here. But I am going to add a chipboard up here for stability. The size of this, actually. I'm not going to make it any bigger than that. All right? You will see that as well. So you glue these. You glue. You add your glue here. You glue that down. You add your glue here. You glue this down. See? You would have figured it out. Super easy. Simple. That's for it to be flat. And then you can add an awning here. I'm going to add an awning um, to this one. I don't think I'm going to add one to this one, but I am going to add one here. So that's pretty much it. And then of course, once that's glued down in place and you add your cover, we're going to cover the chipboard. That's the size of this exact size, the size of this. We're going to, we're going to wrap it with, with the paper, just like we did the other roof. And then we're just going to place that on top. And then you can go ahead and just finish off the inside. You add your layer in here. You can you can leave this as is or you can add layers in here. It's up to you. This is already like super sturdy. And you would, you know, cut out a piece for in here and glue your layer in there. And you're pretty much done. And of course, of course, glue these pieces down and add your layers in here. And you're done. Place your lid on a piece of cardstock. I mean, uh, chipboard. And, um, and trace around it. And then you can cut that off. And then cover this the way we covered the other lid. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, you can just go ahead and cover the paper, cover this with paper, and then glue this on. So the lid is finished. I just need to cover this, I cut this piece out to glue this in the inside, and it's done. It's completed. The layers are in here already, as you can see. And this is what it would look like with the lid on. The layers are in there as well. I still have to finish, put the sides in, but then I still got to put the layers in here. Oops, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So here is the lid for that one. Which one do you guys like best? Do you like this one? I like both, depending on, you know, what I want to do. This is ideal for if you do have an image of a storefront, to have it flat here and to have a nice awning coming out. And then this is, this could be for like a regular house, but this is going to be like a boutique also. I really do like them both. To purchase these files, either for the PDF or the SVG, you will go to Tea Time and Dolls Etsy shop in the description panel below.
Thank you for joining me today. Love is the key. Let's share, be fair, be filled with love, and love one another. Take good care, everybody.